Here's a tutorial on how to change the choke lever on your iSave Tractor brand carburetor for Kohler K-Series engine. This procedure will cover all of the carburetors we offer for the Kohler K241, K301, 321, and 341 engines. Now, before we go into how to change it, I'd like to show you quickly uh, the anatomy of this carburetor. Uh, now, this choke lever goes through a hole that's drilled on the side of the carburetor, goes through, it's connected to the choke plate via these two Phillips head screws and then it comes out in a hole drilled on the other side. What you're going to need to do this is something that's an eighth inch shaft. I'm using this uh, Dremel bit right here. You're also going to need uh, a Phillips head screwdriver. Now the important thing I want to warn you about before doing this is there is a spring and detent ball underneath the choke shaft uh, underneath this hole. So you want to be aware of that as you disassemble this. Uh, the worst thing that can happen is this detent ball will fly out if you're not paying attention, hit you in the eye, or you will lose it. So this is how you're going to do this. First, you're going to take your Phillips head screwdriver, you're going to remove these two screws right here. They come out very easily. They also have lock washers behind them, so make sure you don't lose those. Now you're just going to tilt the choke lever back a tiny bit and pull out the choke plate. Now before, don't just go and pull this choke shaft out. What you want to do is you'll notice there's a hole right here and a hole right here. You want to cover these two holes with your fingers and thumb and then gently pull the choke shaft out. Now when you feel the ball spring out, don't pull the choke shaft out anymore. By holding it here, the choke shaft blocks this hole as well, so the spring and ball don't fly anywhere. You give it a second for the ball to rest, it's going to balance right on top of the spring, and then you pull the shaft out. You won't be able to see it, but the ball is sitting on top of the detent spring right inside of there. Now if it were to come out, since you're covering these two holes with your finger, all you have to do is capture the ball and then you'll be able to put everything back in. So in case yours do come out, I'll take this out just for demonstration purposes. Here it is, the spring and the detent ball. Now to put on your new choke lever, which is this one right here, we call this choke lever style three, you're gonna put your spring back through the hole. It's gonna fall into its little slot. I'm trying to do this without blocking the camera here. You can use your little Dremel piece to push it in so it's in there. Now when you put the ball back in, you want to cover these two holes on the side with your fingers so it doesn't go anywhere. You're going to drop it through this top hole and since your fingers are holding it closed, it's going to fall and center itself right on top of that spring. You take your other choke shaft, you're going to put it in most of the way until you get to where the detent ball is. This is where your little 1 8 inch shaft comes into play. You're going to cover this hole on the outside right there with your finger so that ball doesn't go anywhere. You're going to take your shaft, you're going to put it inside, you're going to push the ball and spring down and when you do that you're going to push the shaft over so it covers the ball and then if you do that that's all there is to it. So now the ball and spring is in its place, you can feel it click, and now you reassemble everything in reverse the way you took it off. You put your choke plate back in, you take your Phillips screw. screw. Now we're going to screw these two screws back in until they're nice and snug. And there you have it, you're done. We've successfully swapped over the choke lever.